know, Providence is a real, uh, very good hockey club. You know, they're balanced uh, from goaltending through the defensemen through the forwards. They're a team that uh, is a seasoned team. They've got some young players, but they're a team that their older players have been there before. So there is experience on that club. And they're, they're a heavy team to play against. They're physical. They finish all their checks. Um, and, you know, they compete. They battle. So, for, you know, for us, we've got to make sure that we're bringing our A game and ready to compete and battle for all those pucks. You talk about that. How hard is it, though, to focus on that game when you have such a big one coming up on Monday? You know, it's easy to focus in on, on Friday in Providence College because it's Providence College. They're a very good hockey club. We've played against them in league play. We've played against them in tournament play. Uh, we know how good they are, you know, and they're always challenging at the top. And when you look at the hockey standings right now, it's so bunched together. This is a big game for our program, for our team, uh, for the season so that we can continue to stay in the pack and, and still – you'll challenge for home ice. Uh, every game at this point is a playoff-like type of game in, in our in our league standing. So um, we've got to bring it. I'm not worried about our players uh, looking beyond this game because they know how good Providence is. We've had, uh, a, you know, bye week, so we've had time to get rested, uh, heal some, some uh, you know, little some wounds there, and then get ready and be focused for Providence on, uh, on Friday night. How do you feel the bye week has gone for you guys? Your bye week has been good uh, in the sense that you're allow, you are allowed us to, uh, you know, rest some of the guys who are, who are banged up a little bit. There's always tweaks uh, to some players, at, you know, at this time of the year. It's hopefully helped, you know, um, you know, Kislin uh, get a little bit more time uh, to get rested. And Julian's looked really good in practice, so we're hoping for his return. And just some other guys who are just, you know, who have some tweaks and things like that gives them a little more time. Then it allows us the opportunity just to be a little bit unique, particularly in that first week of practice, where we can do a little bit more individual work, a little bit more skill work uh, with our team, with our with our different groups, with the forwards, with the defensemen, then with the goalies. So it's allowed us to break up uh, the routine a little bit. And then this week we got back into our regular you know, game week uh, routine and preparation. I know skating strides is near and dear to your heart. Tomorrow it, we're celebrating it here. What does it mean to you? You know, skating strides, as we know, for hockey, it's a, it's a league initiative, and it's uh, you know, it, it's about breast cancer awareness, and um, which is you know an awful disease that that affects and afflicts many um, many men and women. And you know, for me, uh, you know, my wife went through it personally, you know, years ago, and you know, came through on uh, you know on the, on the good side of things, but. Uh, and I also had a, a brother-in-law who was affected by it on the male side. So uh, that's why I said it, it, it affects both genders and both are doing very well. And for us to be able to the, raise the awareness level uh, for breast cancer and for us to hopefully raise a little bit of money uh, going back into research and hopefully that someday we'll find a cure for, for this awful disease.